Most of you guys are familiar with my bracket system behind me. This is a 75 gallon tank that's set up for mud skippers. It's a paludarium. I have four African mud skippers in there and I also have a figure eight puffer. The mud skippers are named Larry, Curly, Mo, and Shep after the Three Stooge franchise. And the uh, figure eight puffer is named Poe due to the markings on his back. What most of you don't know, unless you follow me on Instagram, is that I have a new mud skipper tank. So I actually created a whole new system. A lot of you know that I've been redoing the fish room down here. I got rid of a bunch of tanks. I think I got rid of eight tanks and replaced them um, with larger tanks. So basically I went from like 35 tanks down to 27 tanks, but I have more water volume. One of those tanks is a new paludarium that I'm excited to share with you guys today. I made a waterfall out of it, so I'm super excited to share it with you. Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from Tozawa Tanks. So as I shared, I do have another paludarium that I set up. This one is also for mudskippers. So in that tank over there, the other bracket system, I have African mudskippers, and they get to be about six inches or so. They can be a little bit on the aggressive side, and um, there are certain fish that I can't put in there with them just because they will predate and eat those fish. I did try some guppies in there and ended up with less guppies. So with this tank, I'm actually doing Indian mudskippers. So lately there's been a lot of craze about mudskippers. They're hard to find online. Um, some of my friends did get some. I think uh, Evan, uh, AKA IFG, uh, just got some recently. He sent me a photo of his mudskipper. So I think his video comes out this weekend or something like that in his bracket system. But anyway, one of my my friends Carlos from Backyard Aquatics. You might remember him from um, a couple of the uh, fish room tours that Aquarium Co-op did uh, in Napa, California. So Carlos is a friend of mine. He, he uh, belongs to the uh, San Francisco Aquarium Society, the club that uh, we both belong to. And he sent me a message and said, hey, I just got 25 mudskippers. Do you want some? I said, say no more. I'll be in the car and I'll drive up and get some. So Tomorrow is uh, Saturday. Um, by the time this video comes out, I'll, I've, I'll have already bought the uh, mud skippers from Carlos, so I'll have those in the system. But uh, so I'm going to drive up to Napa tomorrow. I'm in San Francisco, so it's only about an hour from from here, San Francisco to Napa. I'm going to drive up and I'll probably film this fish room and pick up some Indian mud skippers. Now, the difference between Indian mud skippers and African mud skippers, for the most part, is that they're smaller. They're about half the size, so um, they will do well in a smaller system and can also be mixed with other fish uh, that are not too small uh, just because they can't get eaten because the fish are smaller, the mudskippers are smaller. So um, this is a 40 gallon tank. It's not a 40 breeder. It is just a 40 gallon aquarium and I bought it uh, yesterday actually and it's already set up so I worked uh, was crazy. If you watched me on Instagram, you know that I did some pretty crazy things. Uh, I will put a link down below on my Instagram channel. You want to check out and see what I did because it's pretty nuts. But anyway, this is a 40 gallon tank. It has a uh, lid on it, a glass lid. One thing that's very important with mudscapers is you need to have a completely tight fitting lid. And this lid is obviously tight fitting and there are no openings that the mudskippers could climb out because they could actually climb up the side of the glass and they could escape and you don't want that to happen. So this is a 40 gallon tank. It's, th it's uh, three feet long, so it's 36 inches, um, but it is a little bit different in dimensions than a 40 breeder. So I think it's a tiny bit taller and a little bit uh, narrower. So anyway, um, I set this up and as you can see, I have a, an island that I built. They're kind of like a beach in the back. I got a little uh, island going on over here with some rocks. I did a mixture of sand and uh, gravel this time just because the gravel is uh, a little bit better in holding the island together where the sand will kind of fall down, the gravel will kind of stay put. And because I use driftwood in here, I kind of used those uh, gravel uh, pieces to kind of lock that driftwood in place so that the beach doesn't erode. What is super cool and I'm sure the reason why you clicked on this video is that I put a waterfall in this system. So you might remember from a while ago, I got a free canister filter from the company called Awaza. I did a review on that uh, canister filter. And what I decided, because I had that canister filter on another tank over there, I got a free FX4, Fluval FX4. So I set that up on that other tank and took that Awaza filter and put it on this tank. The reason why I did it is because the intake of the Awaza is really kind of uh, small and narrow, but also goes really low. So it doesn't really need a whole lot of water to be able to draw water out of the tank. And instead of just having water
water pour back into the tank you know from the outlet I uh, made this custom little system here where I can uh, have a waterfall so I thought that was really neat to have a waterfall as a filtration so it's a big canister filter it moves a lot of water it has a lot of media in there so it's gonna be plenty for this tank that I have set up what I am gonna do is I do plan on putting some guppies actually I could put some guppies in right now um, but I'll do that later on but uh, the reason why I can do it now is that this tank is already cycled. The reason why is I took a canister filter, that Awaza canister filter, from an African cichlid tank that had tons of fish in there and put it right into the system. So there are plenty of beneficial bacteria already housed in the tank, in the uh, canister filter. So um, it is instantly cycled. I just need to make sure that I feed it so that uh, the bacteria that's in there is able to um, you know consume some waste so anyway so uh, this tank is all set up I'm excited to put the Indian mudskippers in there that way I'm gonna have Indian mudskippers and African mudskippers I don't know how many Indians I'm gonna get so uh, I hope to get a few because I think they will do well in this tank and kind of get along and chase each other around it'll be fun so uh, anyway you'll have to stay tuned make sure you hit that notification bell make sure you are subscribed so that you will be able to check out the tank when it has the Indian mudskippers in there I would love to read down below in the comments your thoughts on this tank do you like this paludarium and how do you like it compared to the other bracket system so again the other one is 75 gallons you've seen that plenty of times this is a 40 gallon tank it's a little bit different of a system uh, with a waterfall and a canister filter instead of doing a sponge filter um, obviously less water so anyway I'd love to read down below in the comments what you think about it if you like it give it a thumbs up once again don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one